Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and I just played Monument Valley 2. It's an MC Escher inspired puzzle game developed and published by us two games. Monument Valley 2 was released for Android November 6, 2017. This game is from my personal collection. I want to take a quick moment and thank my amazing Patreon contributors. Their support makes all this possible. If you want to help this channel grow, you can pledge a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can hit that subscribe button. Monument Valley is one of my favorite games of all time, and I was quite excited to play the sequel. The puzzles in Monument Valley 2 are presented in an isometric format that allows both impossible objects and optical illusions to be solutions. While the puzzles are mind-bending, they're also gorgeously presented with bright pastel colors and an attention to detail. The game's interactive elements are clearly conveyed through visual cues, but never leave the solution too obvious. The sound design is positively superb as well. Monument Valley 2's story is a small but touching element of the game. You're Ro, a mother whose young daughter is beginning to grow up. You encounter what I believe are ancestors who help you as a mother learn to let your daughter grow up. Eventually you and your daughter get split up and you must find a way to get back to each other. Monument Valley 2 is a puzzle game first and foremost. The gameplay consists of both manipulating the environment and directing the characters on screen to the goal. Goals typically present as switches, doors, or altars. Interactive bits of levels include objects with three circles, which allow you to drag them around and change their placement. There's also this totem pole-like thing that gives you a movable platform. And finally, this rotary valve object which can only rotate when a character is not standing on it. You use these interactive bits of the puzzle to create or change pathways in the world. Once you create a path, you can move the character to a previously inaccessible part of the map. It's fun and addictive, and can really mess with your visual intuition. Solutions can seem non-obvious, or even impossible, and in the real world, they would be. But to solve puzzles, you need to disengage that part of your mind that's bound to reality. That's what I love so much about this title. I think it's the same part of my brain that loves Portal so much. The game's performance on my Moto Z Play, even when running capture software, was flawless. Overall, I absolutely loved Monument Valley 2. This has been a rather short review, but that might be symbolic. I beat the game in less than 3 hours and then went back and beat it again in less than 2. There are only 14 worlds, with some worlds having 5 puzzles and some only featuring 1. While incredibly fun and scratching my portal itch, I can't get over the anemic length of the game. I don't remember how long it took me to beat the first game, but I feel like it was a longer experience. Monument Valley 2 is available for Android through the Play Store. Link in the description. Have you played Monument Valley 2? What did you think of it? Do you mind the occasional Android review on the channel? Leave me a comment and let me know, or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. You might consider supporting videos like this over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more from me, the Linux Gamer. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends, and as always, thank you so much for watching.